So first, from the 26th of December, inclusive of that date, for a period of up to three weeks, we intend to place limits on the size of live public events that can take place. This does not apply, let me stress, to private life events such as weddings. For indoor standing events, the limit will be 100. For indoor seated events, it will be 200. And for outdoor events, 500 seated or standing. Physical distancing of one metre will be required at events that go ahead within these limits. This will, of course, make sports matches, including football, effectively spectator-free over this three-week period, a situation similar to that in Wales from Boxing Day. And it will also mean, unfortunately, that large-scale Hogmanay celebrations, including that planned here in our capital city, will not proceed. I know how disappointing this will be for those looking forward to these events and for the organisers of them. But I want to underline why we think this difficult decision is necessary. Firstly, we know that the much higher transmissibility of Omicron means large gatherings have the potential to become very rapid superspreader events, putting large numbers at risk of getting infected very quickly. Limiting these events helps reduce the risk of widespread transmission. It also cuts down the transmission risks associated with travel to and from such events. And second, uh, and this is not an insignificant point, these large events put an additional burden on emergency services, especially the police and ambulance services. At a time when these services are already under severe pressure and also dealing with high staff absences, limiting large-scale events will help them focus on delivering essential services to the public. So I would ask the public, despite the disappointment I know this decision will generate, to please understand the reasons for it. Second, we intend to issue guidance to the effect that non-professional indoor contact sports for adults should not take place uh, during uh, up to a three-week period from 26 December. This is because these activities where physical distancing is not possible also create a heightened risk of transmission. And finally, from the 27th of December, again for up to three weeks, we intend to introduce some further protections in hospitality settings and other indoor public places to reduce transmission risk in what are, through no fault of those who run such venues, higher risk environments. I can confirm that a requirement for table service only will be reintroduced for venues serving alcohol for consumption on the premises. And we will also ask indoor hospitality and leisure venues to ensure one metre distance, not within, but between groups of people who are attending together. And we will continue to advise, as I set out last week, people that if they are attending indoor hospitality or leisure venues, and remember our core advice remains to minimise this, there should be no more than three households represented in any group.